Hello everybody, it's Joe here, and welcome back to Airport CEO. Today you join us back in the action, uh, pretty much where we left off last time, where it's no secret, I think we've been neglecting our terminal a little bit. We've been so focused on the new terminal that, uh, yeah, there's a bit of a problem with traffic, as you can see here. Looks very pretty in terms of the headlights. Um, but yeah, it is a bit of a problem. The reason is we've not got enough dropping off space here. The car park appears to not be used. So um, what what does that do? All, all, vic yeah, right, okay. all vehicles will be evicted. Let's get rid of these. We don't need them anymore. And we'll get rid of this road here. Get rid of the lot. Got it all, please. Yep. I mean, I don't know what's going to happen with that car that's there. I mean, are, are you just going? What if they've not got back from their flight? Oh, he's gone. That's that's just it. He sets off and disappears. Yeah, the car parking doesn't seem to be used. That's probably because I have charged so much for uh, for the pleasure of parking that people just aren't using it anymore. Which is fine, you know, if, if that's how they want to be, then that's fine. So what we're going to do is we are literally just going to put in a car thing there and a car thing there. No, hang on. That It's because they're turning round, isn't it? So what we'll do is we'll put a couple of car things. There we go. Car drop-offs. Three of them. Yep. A couple of them. And a few bus stops. Uh, yep. One. Two. Lovely. And then down the other side. Actually, no, to be fair, we could have bus stops here as well, couldn't we? So we've got four bus stops and then some taxi stands as well. Where is taxi? Taxi stop. Uh, there we go. One, two, three. That's awesome. And can we have some more down this side? I think we can. Uh, yeah, we'll have three taxis and what about three more car stops? Uh, one, two, three. Nope, not there. Two there. Lovely. Awesome. Right, let's get a road in. Uh, this will be an asphalt road. We're going to go up, across the top, and down like that. And again, bring you up there. Of course, what we're going to need is plenty of sidewalk. Uh, so you are going to be there, bring you there. You can all be coloured in. Lovely. Colour you into there, bring you across. Oh, straight across there. So there's plenty of room for everyone to walk and hopefully this should solve some of our congestion issues issues that's uh, that's what i'm saying can i this speak today what's wrong with me it's the excitement it's the pure excitement for uh, for this game right bit of uh, bit of zebra crossings going in lovely and a couple more and a couple more and a couple more. Who'd have thought after last time? Uh, the uh, well, I'll tell you what we will do as well. We'll build another uh, another road tunnel. Hang on, how did we do this? Now world entrance tunnel. Structure position not valid. Right, okay. I reckon that's uh, yeah. Object must be within world. It must be placed outside world. So yeah, it needs to go there. I reckon if we delete both of these, it will let me. How are we doing with the building, chaps? Is that because we've still got this new terminal with lots of building that required, or that's required to be done? No, it's not actually. Come on. Oh, it's because we can't deliver the materials because of the traffic jam. Okay, I see what's happening there. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Right, let's get you built there. So hopefully more vehicles can come in through here now. Oh no, they're just going that way. No, if you could... Oh yeah, because it's not built. <laughs> this isn't helping. Oh dear me. Can we can we just stop? No, nope, there's nothing we can do. So basically, until that lorry eventually gets here, we're kind of at a loss. We can't build anything. But what we could do is we could perhaps shove some nice plants. Uh, a couple of trees. There we go. Put a couple of them in there. A couple of nice trees in the middle. Ah, isn't that nice? A couple more there. Beautiful stuff. Beautiful. Oh, doesn't that look good? Right, where is our lorry? 
There's not really anything we can do, is there? Oh, the lorry has dropped off. Right, get building, guys. We need also, on the road thing, we need some one-way roads. Yeah, one-way. And we need that to be a one-way road as well. Yeah, pop you in one way. We need that to be a one-way road there and there. We'll pop you as one way. Yeah, lovely. That's good stuff. Right, come on, guys. Get round here now. Let's have some cars dropping off up here, please. You know, we've got loads of space up here. So let's use it. Come on. In fact, what we could do on the terminal side is put some uh, some street lights outside. Uh, large centre. That'll do. Right, we'll, we'll have you there. And you there. And you there. There we go. You're, you're illuminating. Are you turned on? Oh, you've not been built yet. Okay. We'll just use floodlights because they're just so much better. Right, we'll pop you there, you there, and you there. And again, uh, you there. I know they're not, like, level, but it's fine. It's fine. There we go. We can see what we're doing now. A couple more floodlights. Uh, there. Yeah, that's fine. And there. And there. Oh, we can actually see what we're doing. Now, is someone going to drop off at our brand new dropping off places here? Come on. You know you want to. Ah, oh, we've got a bus coming. Lovely stuff. That's good. Hopefully this will take traffic demand off. I'm really hoping it will. Come on, guys. We, we just need some more traffic to realise it wants to drop off here. See, they're not even making use of all of these things, are they? Come on. Right, okay. What we need to do... We need to... Um, we need to get the road... Maybe if we make it a one-way road. There we go. Right, you've literally got to go one way now. That's perhaps improving things? I don't know, but that car's just gone against the one-way system. Oh, I don't know. Oh, it's so busy out here, isn't it? Yeah, I think it would work better at a one-way system. I think, as well, perhaps we've maybe cocked up a little bit with the new terminal offering the, the kind of dual-way system. I don't know. Oh, I don't know. I really don't know. We're losing so much money. Flights are going to be so delayed because people can't get to them. Oh, we didn't see this coming. People are queuing so much. The subway is uh, 217 people an hour. That's not bad. I'm just kind of at a loss with what we do with all these people. Um, the majority of people seem to be taxis. The majority of these taxis, I don't know. Come on, let's let's keep going, guys. Keep keep going. We seem to be slowly clearing the backlog. I don't want to, like, speak too soon here, but it, it seems like we are slowly clearing the backlog. I just don't get why people aren't just using these. Is it because these have set off? Like, these have arrived and they want to go there and you can't talk them through anything else. I mean, look, there's a few people that are whizzing up here now. It's better. Make use of our new facilities, please. Can we, uh, right, hang on, if we have that as entrance only, and that as exit only, perhaps that will be better. Is that working now? I don't know. What we could do, yeah, if that's entrance only, we can have, um, oh, I don't know if this is going to work, but, uh, right, let's have a bit of one-way road. There, and there. Right, come on guys. Oh, you appear to be... Yeah, this is entrance only. So can you... I guess it takes them a while to kind of start behaving like that. If 
could all just... Oh, yeah, I've just, I've just made everything more gridlocked by doing that, haven't I? Yep, there we go. Right, get them all out. Yeah, you, you all need to start obeying these traffic laws, please. Oh, I don't know what's happening there. <laughs> right. Oh, dear. We need this guy to turn around. This Alexander Demis, which I imagine is a type of bus. Yes, it is a bus. I love that. Alexander Demis. That's a Scamia. Wow, I hadn't realised. A Maracas, which will be a Mercedes. What are you? Scamia. Scamia. Brilliant. I love that. That is ace. Right, okay, so we've cleared the backlog. What are all these people waiting for? Hell! They're waiting for buses. They're waiting for buses which are never cut. It's probably for this Alexander Dennis. Demis. When these are cleared, we'll have a nice functioning system. Oh, there he goes. Possibly. I don't know. Yeah, well, that seems to be working a lot better. The queue has gone. Which is great because now we can move over to look at uh, look at our pretty new terminal. Isn't that lovely? So, what are we going to be doing? What is the main focus of today's episode? It's to get some baggage going, actually, as it happens. So we are going to put behind here a nice, sizable baggage room. Uh, we're also going to build you along there because uh, the baggage. Uh, we'll just have we'll just have one. One will do. One will suffice. We'll also get rid of this wall here. It was pointed out to me when we built that kind of underpass thing. They said, "Why don't you just put a hole in this fence, Joe?" And that is a very good point. We also need to uh, hang on fence. While we're talking about fences, we need to build a fence. I'll tell you what, we'll do. We'll uh, we'll buy this while we've got it, so then we can expand to all of the areas. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant stuff. I'm going to run you all the way up to the top, and then we've got the full border. Great stuff. I realise that it's going to take absolutely ages to uh, for our guys to build all this. But it's fine. It's absolutely fine. Right, build you to there. Now, ideally, we want you to build this so that no animal of any sort can get into our airport. It's what we want. Apart from that one. I mean, that one's already here, so there's not a lot we can do about that, is there? Why is there a wall here? Why are you... Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, we, we don't want you to build that wall there, please. There we go. So, this is going to be built. This is going to be our baggage handling area. Now, these are going downhill. They can pop back up here. Um, oh, hang on. They're all here to do some building. Come on, guys. In fact, we'll even put a door in here so that our staff can uh, can get in. Now, this is, of course, going to be a staff zone. So, we'll just we'll staff zone the heck out of that. We don't want our, uh, our members of the public walking in through here. Yeah, we, we don't want them walking into the baggage area, do we? So, we've got the fast belts there. It's good that they've actually built so much so quickly. It's going to take them a long time to do all this fence, though. So, while they're doing that, let's just double check. Have we got... Uh... Oh, look at that. Everything's running smoothly here. That could just be to do with the fact that it is now half past nine. A lot of the flights have gone. I don't know. I don't know. What we do need, however, is we need some, uh, we need some subway entrances here. Uh, where have we got it? Oh, hang on. Major power surge. Oh, something's broken. Everything's broken. Right, okay. Oh, no. Come on, airport technicians. You get fixing them. Oh, no. All the checking desks are broken. Oh, there we go. This is all back up and running really quickly. Okay, well, that's cost us an arm and a leg, hasn't it? Flipping heck. That's not what you need. Right, let's have a look at infrastructure. We need some subway entrances. We're going to have... Uh, we're going to have a couple here. We're going to have a couple over here. Power surge is now over and its impact on our operations should soon disappear. That's good. That's really good. Uh, right, we'll get you there. A couple of, couple of paving so that people can get to here. 
tell you what, we're actually, we're going to delete that. Because I don't like it. There we go, delete the lot. Delete you. What we're going to do, so that it's nice and efficient, is we're going to have a subway entrance opposite these crosswalks. Crosswalks? Oh, I'm becoming American as well now. Opposite these zebra crossings, that's what I'm meaning. There we go. So we've got loads of the things. It's expensive, but it means that it'll be nice and efficient. Hopefully. Oh no, what's happening? Railband out to world connection, a signaling failure, all subway. Oh well, that doesn't matter. I mean, it kind of imagine. It's like Manchester Airport, that isn't it? All the trains are knackered due to an external problem. Right, okay, that's going to be a problem for us here. Yeah, we can't do anything with that, unfortunately. You're all going to have... Oh, my lord. Oh, there's a lot of people coming off flights. Oh, no, there's a lot of large flights. What a disaster. Traffic is going to hopefully not be too bad. Nightmare situation. Our airport is absolutely going to the dogs here. Is it because I'm building new things? Why, why are all these disasters happening so suddenly? So suddenly, could hardly speak there. Right, we're gonna need, we're continuing on with our airport. We're absolutely continuing on. Right, so this is a high speed tray. We want you to pop up here. And we're gonna need you to do the same here. Any more from down here? No. So we don't actually need you. Get rid of you, don't need you. And, of course, we can get rid of the staff zone there, because, again, that's not needed either. Okay, that's looking good. So, high-speed tray. Oh, hang on. That's turning the camera around. Passengers are... Um, oh, transit structures. Having difficulty leaving the airport. Why? You shouldn't be having difficulty leaving the airport. There we go. So, that is where we are at here. Now, how are we doing this? So we're, we're getting a baggage scanner. Oh yeah, we need a secure zone, okay. Uh, right, so we can't have that door there. <laughs> Great. Uh, oh no, to be fair, we could have the, the door here, and we could have a, a security... Right, hang on, so if I put a secure zone here, how... There we go. We'll put the secure zone there. Put a bit of terminal here. Right, so if we have this just as a staff zone only, yeah. I don't quite know what I'm doing here. I don't know if it's uh, abundantly obvious that I'm just making it up as I go along, but we could. I'm trying to think of how we'll get the staff in here. There we go. Right, pop you across there. You're going to be a staff only zone, so you can go there. Right, get rid of all of you. Staff only zone. Security. Right, we're good. We're good. So we need a we need like a security desk, don't we? So security checkpoint, just a small one. Right, okay. So if we get rid of the secure zone from there. Yep, yeah, just a small one. Good, right, that is all we need. Security exit. Must be placed in a secure zone. Oh, okay, that's not actually been built yet. Okay, we'll let you off, we'll let you off. Oh yeah, they'll be building the wall, won't they? So uh, building all this is going to take forever. Uh, right, okay. So we need someone to come and work on here, please. Uh, no passengers, just staff. Right, we can actually build a queue for the staff. That's hilarious. And maybe pop a potted plant in there. There we go. Small banana plant. Lovely. Just makes security that much more fun. Right, so this is going to be the baggage area. Possibly. Yeah, 
delete that door, because you have no place here, door. Uh, there we go. Yeah. And just pop a section of wall in. There we go. Lovely. Oh, we're back to making money, so that's good, at least. Right, so the, the baggage, this can be all just as a secure zone, so that there's no... Uh, yeah, lovely. Right. So I want this to be, like, impenetrable security. You know, it's going to be brilliant. So, we're going to go through. So that does uh, suspicious contents. Yep, so the first thing that we're going to do is go through and, uh, and detect suspicious contents. Okay, so it's going to go onto a green conveyor belt from here, purely and simply to save money, but also due to the fact that these are, you know, you, I don't think you can have these as blue. So if you fail this, you're going to go and see a man. There we go. If the luggage fails this, it will see a man. Uh, used for manually searching. Hang on, let's let's think. Where are we putting our incinerator? So the baggage destroyer is going over here. There we go. So if you fail, you are going to go and see a man or a woman. There we go. And if you fail that, you're going to go and be destroyed. Beautiful stuff. Right. If you pass that, you're going to go around here and rejoin the queue. Yep. Sound good so far? I think that's brilliant. So, if you pass that, you're then going to go through the organic scanner. Yep. And again, if you pass that, you'll carry on. If you fail that, you're going to go see a man. Or a woman. Yep, you need to stop saying that, Joe. You need to stop saying that. You'll be upsetting your audience. So, you can go down and then reappear here. If you fail seeing said person... I mean, this might not be particularly efficient, but it's going to be impenetrable. We are not going to have any sort of uh, any sort of things slipping past us. So if you pass that, you're going to carry on and go round again. Yeah. Now, we're going to go and see uh, the guns scanner next. And if you fail that, guess who you're going to go see? Mm-hmm. Yep, you're going to go see one of our... Uh, finest quality uh, security agents. Right, there we go. Again, if you fail that this time, you're off down here to be destroyed. Quite a complex system we've got going on here already. Um, if you pass that, congratulations, you're off around for a bit more scanning. So ideally what we want is the bag to go around... No, ideally we want the bag to go all the way up here. It's only if it fails that it goes to see a person. So, what do we want next? Uh, we want explosives. Well, we don't want explosives, but we want the explosive scanner. Right, I'll tell you what, we'll, we'll put these down, because I can see how far apart they have to go every time. Drugs and money. So, we should have one, two, three, four, five, and there we've got five. Lovely. Again, if you fail these, you're off to see one of our security team. Yep, you can go there, and you can go... Hang on, let's have a think. Let's actually just draw the baggage out so that we can see where it's going. Back down, straight up, straight up. And then if you fail, you can go see the person here. And you can go see the person here. Yep, lovely. Right, okay. So it's going to take quite a while to get through all the luggage, isn't it? Really. Uh, you go there. You can 
go back round. Is it efficient? Who knows? Who knows? Um, you can then go back round there. That's good. That's good. Right, downhill, please. I realise none of this has been built yet. Right, escalator down. You can go down as well. And then, uh, right, so we need an escalator up. That can, uh, that can appear here. And the baggage can, uh, can go like that. There we go. Brilliant. So then underground, you can just come down like that. Yeah, brilliant stuff. Okay, so yeah, that's pretty, uh, pretty intense, isn't it? I imagine maybe we'll need to upgrade these at some point. I mean, I guess how long it takes for the luggage to get round. Hopefully everything should just fly straight up here, but obviously the old thing is going to end up going round. Now, when we get to the top, we are going to need uh, some scanning stations, and the reason we are is it's going to be checked by three people. Because then it can't possibly fail, can it? Yep. I realise some of you will probably have your head in your hands at this point. And then it can go on a fast belt. And to be fair, it won't need to go on a fast belt. If we have the luggage things picking up here, that's nice and efficient, isn't it? There's a lot of conveyor belts here. <laughs> just just looking. That's a hell of a lot of conveyor belts. Right, so you're going to go on the downward escalators. Yeah. Right, there we go. Pop you all on there. Great stuff. So there will be a lot of luggage coming for destruction here. So yeah, even if you make it this far, you will still be checked by not one, not two, but three people. So luggage is literally not getting on the flight at all, is it? You know, wait, <laughs> this this behemoth of a uh, of a terminal uh, luggage place is going to make sure that no amount of luggage gets onto uh, onto this. Now we're going to need some terminal. We're going to need a bit more terminal down here. Maybe five. That'll do. Have we, have we built this yet? Oh, the guys are building it. Have you finished all that wall, chaps? Oh, you have. Oh, well done. Everything's tickety-boo around there, isn't it? Oh, yeah, since the last time I put in all these conveyors and uh, I've put all the checking desks in as well, so that should be uh, nice. I've not thought of a good colour scheme for it yet. We're just using airport marble. Right, this all needs to be still... Uh, yeah, there we go. Looking good. Staff only zone. I mean, I don't think I need to put that as a staff only zone purely and simply because uh, passengers can't actually get here, can they? Uh, there is an entry. Oh, the yeah, there's an exit there. Yeah, I want more builders, but unfortunately you won't let me have more builders. So, uh, you know. Brilliant. Right, get rid of all of that. Oh. Yeah, it's just having a moment to think to itself. Get all of you there. Lovely. Yeah, clear that. And just fill that square in. Right, we're all good. I think we're all good. Now, we need to delete a bit of this. What are we What are we actually going to need to do? So we need... Um, luggage. The baggage bay to get the sodding luggage onto the flight. Now, we need five there. That's a good one. Right, so we need to take you back by about six, is it? Five there. I think. There we go. Take you back by that. I think that's going to work. I don't know. I don't know, to be honest with you. I'm kind of at a bit of a loss here. This is one of these, I'm just making it up as I go along and hoping that it's going to work. Staff zone, of course, have you as a staff zone. 
Now, baggage bays. Oh yeah, I forgot we've got no re baggage reclaim zone, have we? Damn it, I hadn't thought about that. Um, <laughs> oh, we'll, we'll work something out. We'll, we'll just get it all off here and have some sort of high-speed baggage reclaim zone. Right. There we go. Conveyor belts. Oh, we could actually fit in the exact amount we need there. Nope, get rid of the lot. Stick your one out like that. Brilliant. Right, um, we'll have another section of terminal. There we go. Get rid of this wall. Yeah, because we don't need you. Get rid of that wall. Get rid of that wall. And we'll get rid of that wall as well. And that wall. I think. I don't know. We can always put wall back in. That's the good thing about wall. Right, there we go. So, we're going to have a bit of road. Yeah, maintenance road. That's beautiful. Going to have that dri driving all the way up there and down and round. Yeah, you got it. You can, uh, you can have road there and there. There and there. Good stuff. I think that's going the way I want it to. Is it? Yeah, I think it is. We'll have a bit of one way though, won't we? Have you one way in there? Yeah, one way in there. One way out. One way out. And one way out there. You can all be uh, suitably one way as well, so that everyone knows where they're going. That's good. Okay, so people can cross here, can they? Must be placed on top of road outside. Right, okay, so yeah, people can walk across there. That's fine. In terms of the baggage bays, this is just going to need to tilt tray out of here, isn't it? And send it to whatever baggage bay uh, is required. So if we put the conveyor belt there, a tilt tray either left or right, and then you can tilt tray from there, can't you? Yes. Lovely. Right, so you can be high speed as well after that. Because time is money. Right, okay, so we'll get you to there. Bring you up the other side. Lovely. You can then come from there. And there. Yeah, right down to there. And then you can go all the way down there. Perhaps we'll need more baggage bays. Well, we can always expand as we go, can't we? I mean, we've got all this space up here we could add more baggage bays into. We could literally drag all this up here. I mean, this is still not a particularly massive airport, is it? It's a big terminal for what we've currently got. And it's all purpose-built, so that's nice. All right, high-speed escalator down. And another one there. And another one there. High-speed escalator up. That's rotating the camera. Heck, I've completely lost track of time here, haven't I? There we go. Pop you in there. And you in there. I don't know if you can tell, but these episodes are getting longer and longer as I get more engrossed in uh, in what's happening. Right, there, there. So the baggage bays are more or less complete. That's where we want them to be. Um, Christ, it's a boring looking airport terminal, isn't it? Yeah, sorry, we, we will do something with that eventually. At least everyone's suitably comfortable, aren't they? Okay, so, what do we want to... Uh, we can have some, maybe some shops, some cafes around here. Nice, sizable waiting area before your check-in desk opens. That's going to be awesome. Now, where do we want you to go next? Well, we'd quite like you to go upstairs to security. Because downstairs is, of course, I said we were going to do the baggage area underground. 
uh, and we haven't, so uh, that's not the end of the world. Security could be downstairs, couldn't it? Um, you could perhaps, yeah, you could go downstairs to security, go all the way through all the security nonsense and passport control. So this will just all be international flights. Okay, yeah, I like the sound of that. Um, yeah. Yeah, sorry, my brain's just thinking there. It's a long drawn out process. I don't recommend it. Right, you're going to be here. Right, okay. Yeah. Now, where can we build the, the stairs down? So you could come down here and back up, couldn't you? That's ace. I like that. Yeah, so you can go... The, the thing down can be here. You can go down and back up and round here. Awesome. Okay, I like that. And it also keeps, uh, it makes use of this route, this space as well around this downstairs area. They're not particularly quick at building these chaps, are they? Although, to be fair to them, to give them their due, uh, they're covering some right mileage, aren't they? Right, we've got lots of people here ready to throw luggage in the incinerator. Basically, where you don't want to end up is here. We got more ramp agents. We have got. I can see them with the high visits on there. Right. What are we doing about downstairs, guys? We're uh, we're looking good. Now. There. Uh, okay. That's there. So ideally, you want to end up upstairs, do you? Yeah. I think we're gonna have. I think we're gonna have them upstairs. So yeah, if we uh, if we nip on the roof and have all of this uh, as a oh hang on oh no now we're demolishing everything right I have all of this insufficient funds blimey oh yeah we did build quite a sizable chunk of an area down here didn't we mm, okay let you off then right I still don't really know how we're going to get downstairs we could have the the stairs area right outside the staff room I'm sure the staff will love that. That'll do. No, it won't do. Get rid. Bulldoze. Because we're wasting. Oh, no, we're not. Oh, hang on. Right. How about here? What What are we going to... I mean, that will be fine. Oh, hang on. Uh... Yeah, you see, that would be even better if we could if we could get you like that. Yeah. Brilliant stuff. Right, okay, yeah. can absolutely go for that. So, you're going to go like that. A few walls in between. And then if we nip downstairs, you can absolutely do the same thing. Yeah, lovely. There we go, so that's where you go for your uh, your flight for the security. So the security is going to be down here, and then we're going to go through passport control, where we'll bring you back upstairs, so there'll be like a double, you know like what we did down here, where you have the, the double escalator like that, so we'll go upstairs, and that will be brilliant. That's, uh, yeah, that's that's kind of what I'm going with here. Let's just double check, is, uh, is everyone sorted down here? We've got no problems, have we? No, and the trains are back up and running. Right, well, do you know what? We've made some excellent progress there. I know I say this every episode, but we've got a baggage area sorted. I know we've not quite got the baggage reclaim yet, so we're not ready to open this terminal. Well, we're not ready to open it because we've got no aeroplanes, no parking spaces, no taxiways to the runway. Yeah, we're a long way off opening this, but we've made some brilliant progress. Uh, for next time, I'm going to come up with a plan on how we're going to get this uh, running. I apologise, I'm recording this way, way, way in advance, so if you did suggest something in the comments and it has not yet been actioned, uh, I do apologise, I am recording them in advance, because 
uh, I am going on holiday, so uh, I don't want to leave you guys with no content, so yeah, that will be why. Uh, if you have enjoyed today's video, please do make sure that you click that like button. It's always appreciated because it does help the video do better. Uh, Airport CEO is, of course, not the most popular series that I do, but I'm enjoying it, and quite a few of you guys are as well, so, you know, we're not going to quit it uh, just yet. But, of course, the more of you that click that like button, the more likely it is to get noticed, the more likely we are to carry on. Do subscribe if you're enjoying the series, because, like I say, there's plenty more to do. And uh, make sure you click the notification bell so you don't miss out on any future episodes. Other than that, as I say, thank you so much for watching today's video. And hopefully, I'll see you all next time. Cheerio! Goodbye for now.